It is the end of an era at Mount Madonna County Park in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Now, the park's well known and has a beloved herd of exotic white deer. It's certainly been a huge attraction for decades, but the herd has dwindled over the years. And as Len Ramirez shows us, park rangers are now trying to bring comfort to the last lonely survivor. Like I said, I don't think she's going to come out. She's pretty shy. Ranger Long wears many hats at Mount Madonna County Park. And today, one of those duties is the care and feeding kind of, of the of park's enclosure. most famous resident. She mainly stays toward the back of her enclosure. A rare and reclusive white deer named Penelope. The 10 year old doe cuts an almost ghostly figure when she appears out of the dark woods and then vanishes just as quickly. Uh, Penelope is very shy. So oftentimes it is difficult to see her. Uh, there's the kind of this brush at the bottom of the enclosure and that's, that's where she hangs out. Ranger Long has come to feed Penelope in a large fenced in preserve near the park's headquarters. She gets a mixture of oats and slices of alfalfa hay bales. But Penelope bides her time in a thicket of trees and usually doesn't come out to eat until after sunset. Her instinctive caution might come from the fact that Penelope is the sole survivor of a once large and exotic herd of white deer that was gifted to the park's previous landowner by William Randolph Hearst. Penelope. Go in the other pen. There you when go. Santa Clara County took over the land for a public park, the herd came with a territory. At the kind of the height of the, the herd at Mount Madonna, there were 58 deer. The deer, known as European fallow deer, were the park's biggest attraction for decades. Caitlin Dietz remembers coming to see the deer as a child, and she came back with friends, hoping for one last glimpse. Like they're so cute and just a different kind of breed and variety of deer that um, I hadn't seen before. Or you don't commonly see out in the wild, so it was just a nice way to, to see something new and different. Over time, the herd slowly died off from a combination of natural causes, disease, predators, and even human poachers. The county decided years ago not to let the deer reproduce because the gene pool was too small to produce healthy offspring. And Ranger Long says the deer could not be released into the wild. She's not native to this area, and because they're so inbred, so if she does breed with the native deer, um, it could create a, a weaker strain of deer. Um, and also fish and wildlife wouldn't wouldn't allow that. The last male died of old age last year, leaving only Penelope, who was healthy, all by herself. She's in a beautiful place, but the, the difficult part is her being alone. Oh, there she is. She heard us coming. The only thing Ranger Long and the other caregivers can do now is make the rest of Penelope's life as comfortable as possible as she lives out her final days on Mount Madonna as the last of the breed beautiful. The rangers say Penelope still gets daily visitors at the park, but unlike previous generations that grazed openly in their fenced preserve, Penelope prefers her privacy in the trees.